you're going to help people lose. Well, I think it's all it's about support. Isn't it? it is a thought, isn't it? it but is. it is about support. And Weight Watchers is really about um, help. People, you know, the kids today think that they invented mojitos. They're in the bars now. They're very popular. My grandparents were drinking mojitos. And we do have some breaking news that we want to bring you right now. We're going to go to a picture, a live picture from New York City. Of that a plane may have hit one of the two towers. What do the intelligence people there say about that? The intelligence uh, community for some time has been warning in a steady drumbeat, Brian, that Osama bin Laden has not been heard from now, frankly, since the beginning of the year, uh, the USS... Um, some of the some of the key suspects come to mind Osama bin Laden as you've studied him what can you tell us about him that we don't know take us to the core of Osama bin Laden to say to the world <clears throat> that this is a unified nation in the face of tragedy in places near to where the tragedies are playing out and far away, Americans are trying to figure out what to do in the face of hopeless grief and sympathy and anger. Some Palestinians are openly delighted over the attacks. Images like these have embarrassed moderate Arabs. They know that they risk hardening world opinion against the Palestinians and perhaps even against Arabs in general. Uh, that a, the second uh, ranking person at the Defense Department has laid out what he says will be eventually a sustained uh, U.S. military effort. And so what needs to be done is mount a swift, sure, overwhelming military operation that deals with Osama bin Laden and the Taliban because they've been protecting him. It's a very sophisticated operation. Oh, you bet. This is serious business. And, and there's not one of those. There are many of those. Are you concerned about asbestos contamination? We, we, uh, the health department has done uh, tests, and at this point, it's not concerned. We have first-hand descriptions of biological weapons factories on wheels, and on rails. The Iraqi regime has plotted to develop anthrax. Of course we're after uh, uh, Saddam Hussein, I mean uh, Bin Laden. He's, 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 he's isolated. The terrorists attacked us and killed 3,000 of our citizens before we started the freedom agenda in the Middle East. They were what did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing. The United States military has begun strikes against Al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. On my orders, Coalition forces have begun striking selected targets of military importance to undermine Saddam Hussein's ability to wage war. In a limited military action in Libya, in support of an international effort to protect Libyan civilians. But the death of Al-Qaeda's founder and spiritual leader does not end the terror threat. Across America today, heavily armed police bolstered patrols at airports from Boston to Los Angeles. There, there are things that are being now done in Heathrow Airport that, as an experiment of, of using iris scan as a way to check into the airport. Investigations are often slowed by a limit on the reach of federal search warrants. family says he's been treated like a terror suspect every time he flies. The airlines say he's on a TSA watch list, even though Mikey is just eight years old. 
The CIA admitted that waterboarding was used on terror suspects in 2002 and 2003, but claimed its agents couldn't be prosecuted because they'd been told it was legal. I don't want the mosque here. Why don't you want the mosque? Why? Because I don't want to go through the Constitution. I know what the Constitution says, but they are spitting in our face, the mosque people. Our nation is at war against a far-reaching network of violence and hatred, and that we will do whatever it takes to defeat them and defend our country. We will incarcerate people preventively, preventive incarceration, indefinite detention without trial. That's what, that's what this is. Right now, the Bush people are bringing out their mission accomplished sign because they've not only gotten Obama to protect uh, Bush and Cheney and others uh, from any criminal investigation on torture, but he's now gone even further than they did in the protection of unlawful surveillance. from a severe case of outrage. <laughs> Honestly, I can tell you, without reservation, I've been throughout this country now, and I've been in a whole lot of airports. And me undressing for TSA at the airport does not enhance my security and it certainly doesn't protect me and it doesn't have a darn thing to do about 911. I just want to leave you with this. We are not the conspiracy theorists. We are those who want to expose the conspirators behind 9-11. So we are the conspirator hunters, not the theorists, the hunters. And I understood very well that, that uh, Bin Laden was a creation of the CIA. Al-Qaeda was, was, uh, was a US intelligence asset. And that what struck me at first uh, was to say, well, if Osama Bin Laden and Al-Qaeda are those responsible for the 9-11 attacks, then my, my answer would be, um, uh, who is behind Bin Laden and, and, uh, and Al-Qaeda? But you have to see both sides of the argument and make a decision for yourself. That, 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 that's what it comes down to. And you have to be really open-minded and, and you can't lose focus of the fact that the, the media is deeply involved in perception management. That, that, that's the truth. And you know, everybody has to know that war is never a solution for anything. That, that, that's essentially what I, I have to say. <laughs>